During the referendum, big promises were made to the people of Scotland. The promise was made of more powers for Scotland and that the Barnet formula, the system used to allocate money to Scotland, should be maintained. The day after, David Cameron emerged from Downing Street talking of more powers for Scotland and England's MPs. The UK government set up the Smith Commission to decide which power Scotland should get. The Scottish government made the case for substantial new powers. While the No campaign parties cut back on the promises they made before the referendum, but limited new powers were proposed, powers we want to use for the good of Scotland. Alongside these new powers, a new system of allocating money to Scotland needed to be agreed. This is called the Fiscal Framework. The Smith Agreement, signed by all political parties, outlined a core set of principles for the Fiscal Framework. The most important of these is the principle of no detriment. This principle means that Scotland should not suffer financially just because we gain new powers. The Treasury ignored this. From day one they tried to use the process that was supposed to be about delivering new powers to slash Scotland's budget. And not just on a one-off basis, but forever, year after year. At the start of negotiations they proposed a 7 billion cut. Then it was 3 billion. Then it was 2.5 billion. They were trying to use the referendum to say to Scotland, heads we win, tails you lose. Throughout the many months of negotiations, the SNP were clear. We would not sign up to a deal that shortchanges Scotland. We demanded a fair deal and the powers that were promised to Scotland. Finally, they agreed. The SNP secured a deal that ensures Scotland will not be a penny worse off and the new powers will be delivered. It is the SNP's job to stand up for Scotland and by neutralising a Treasury cash grab on Scotland's budget, that's exactly what we've done.